Hello guys and welcome to ME3DP. Today we are going to be looking at a tool changer I designed for the AR3 robot. All of the STL files will be available to download on my website ME3DP.us. The link is in the description. The design uses four 6x3mm neodymium magnets for both holding and locating the end effector. This tool changer is useful because if you have a long end of arm tool on the AR3 robot, it can affect the robot's ability to home. In this short clip, I am using an SMC actuator as a gripper with custom designed 3D printed fingers to stack four blocks. Stacking the blocks demonstrates the repeatability of both the AR3 and the tool changer design as there is not a lot of clearance between the grippers and the blocks. After the robot is done stacking the blocks, it will drop the end of arm tool off and home itself. If you enjoy this video, subscribe. I plan to keep making videos like these and to keep sharing my designs. Here you can see the robot go to the approach position for the end effector mount and then slide into position and pull away, leaving the robot with just a small adapter plate as the end of arm tool and giving it the ability to home without any issues. Here's a closer look at the adapter plate that mounts to the robot. The magnets were glued into place and it just uses two M3 screws to bolt up to the end effector mount that comes with the AR3. When placing the magnets in the end effector, you're going to want to put the magnets on the adapter plate and then add glue to the holes of the end effector and press it onto the adapter plate. This will ensure that the magnets are in the correct orientation. To assemble the end of arm tool in this example, two M3 screws are used to bolt into the SMC actuator. The idea behind this design is that as long as the mating flange stays the same, it can be customized to whatever the use case is. The boss on the adapter helps to locate the end of arm tool and to handle any side load that may be experienced when picking parts in different orientations. Here I am using a spring-loaded capacitive touch pen to unlock my iPad. The touch pen is grounded by the green wire to the base of the AR3 robot. This helped with the reliability of the touch pen. Thanks for watching and consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this.